The components of the suit are all in place. Up front, a super realistic croc head that's already field tested. My closest encounter with bears convinced me that to get close to wild crocs, I need serious protection. After cowering inside steel fencing, surrounded by a pack of wolves, I decided to build my croc suit around a cage. On top of that, a Kevlar shell inspired by a rodeo barrel to protect me from hippos. But I can't crawl around inside a black shell. To fool the crocs, I need to make the whole thing look like a crocodile. To make the body as realistic as possible, I've had a lifelike skin made up out of canvas and rubber that snaps right onto the cage. Yeah. Man, it looks great. Uh, I think so too. It looks great. It's as realistic as we can make. I think it's gonna work. The Kevlar is underneath this, right? That's correct. You are completely secure. Once you're inside the, uh, the frame, virtually nothing can get at you. Man, that is a tight fit. <sighs> Oh yeah, my feet go down into the tail. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's great. Because of that, you can impart a lifelike movement yeah, to the I tail. Yeah, I can wag the tail. Yes, you can. If things are going well, I'll wag the tail. It's comfortable in here. Lower the head and see how it feels. All right. Oh, this is nice. Now I've got enough room to work underneath the head, and I've got you know a pretty good line of sight either way. I mean, I can kind of tell what's going on uh, around me. How much does this thing weigh? About 80 pounds. Yeah, it's not light. The problem is it wants to tip. Actually, you're doing very well. I can move around. I mean, I'm not going to set any speed records. So at least I do have the ability to move a little bit. All right, man, I give it thumbs up. Excellent. Nope, the disguise is ready. We're either going to be genius. It's time to head into the field to Western Tanzania and its Nile crocodiles. Will the croc suit allow me to get within arm's length of big wild crocs? More importantly, will it keep me safe? The big day's finally arrived. The day in which I field test my protective croc suit. And I'm here in East Africa where there are more crocodiles than you can shake a stick at. The plan is for me to get close enough to a wild crocodile to attach some scientific instruments. To do that, I'm gonna need some tools. That's why you can see I got a lot of equipment in here. The success or failure of my protective croc seat will be determined by whether I can attach this small scientific instrument to the back of a wild crocodile. To do that, I'm gonna have to get very, very close. This data logger is part of an experiment into how crocodiles deal with climate extremes. The animals here have to withstand a dry season with temperatures high enough to kill a crocodile. The thermometer's been out probably five minutes. The thermometer goes up to 130 degrees Fahrenheit. It's off the chart. It's over 140 degrees Fahrenheit out here. I believe the burrows play a critical role in the croc survival. The temperature inside the burrow should be much cooler. All right, let's see what we got. Over 140 degrees Fahrenheit in the sun. 20 feet into the burrow. Unbelievable, honest, 29 degrees Celsius. 82 degrees. That's a difference of 60 degrees. But to prove this is important for the crocs, I need to monitor the temperatures they experience. Ultimately, I want to attach data loggers to several crocodiles. On this expedition, my goal was just to field test the suit. If it works, then I'll know I can use it for future research. <laughs> 